65 years ago, Youth in the Hands of God Seeking Knowledge was created by the artist now known as America's public sculptor, Marshall M. Fredericks. After decades of weathering the outdoor elements, this sculpture is now in dire need of critical structural and cosmetic repairs to ensure that it survives decades ahead and continues to inspire all who see it. Youth in the Hands of God Seeking Knowledge was originally commissioned by the Dallas Public Library in 1954. It hung on that building from 1956 to 1991. In 1982, the Dallas Public Library moved to a new location that was more technologically equipped. And this sculpture remained on the old building for nearly 10 more years. The library originally intended to move the sculpture to the new location. Its 16 feet, 800 pound sculpture proved to be too expensive to move for them. Once Marshall Fredericks heard that they no longer needed the sculpture, he began to negotiate to bring the sculpture here to Michigan on the campus of SVSU, located at the Marshall M. Fredericks Sculpture Museum. In 1993, SVSU purchased the sculpture and later that year installed it here for all to enjoy. Youth in the Hands of God Seeking Knowledge is an important sculpture by Marshall Fredericks and the only place in the whole world to see it is here at Saginaw Valley State University at the entrance to the Marshall M. Fredericks Sculpture Museum and the Arbery Fine Arts Center. Marshall Fredericks has said of this sculpture that it, quote, represents the hands of God supporting youth reaching for learning through the medium of literature. While originally commissioned for a public library, it is especially fitting and at home at a public university as well. For what is a university but a community of people reaching for learning? This sculpture symbolizes the very heart of the mission of this university as a place where students, faculty, staff, and community members search for truth and knowledge. An organization that supports personal and professional growth through learning and educational excellence, and an institution that serves as an intellectual and cultural resource for the region. We are all like the youth in the hands of God seeking knowledge, and this beautiful sculpture beckons us to persist in our common and very human quest for truth and meaning. Every year the museum hires a team of conservators to carefully inspect and clean the Marshall Frederick sculptures located outside in the Joanne and Donald Peterson Sculpture Garden. Giorgio Gikas, the founder and chief conservator at Venus Bronze Works, based out of Detroit, has been cleaning and conserving our sculptures for over two decades. Once in a while, a sculpture will need some special attention beyond the normal annual cleaning and waxing. Youth in the Hands of God Searching for Knowledge is one of those works that needs special repair and it needs it soon. This particular work is an aluminum sculpture that despite our best efforts to preserve and protect it, it has slowly deteriorated and is now in poor condition. It has discolored and the cast sections are cracked and separating at their seams. This becomes more evident each year. This important one-of-a-kind artwork needs immediate conservation treatment and structural repairs before restoring the finish to its original beauty. The estimated cost to restore Youth in the Hands of God Seeking Knowledge is $25,000. That cost includes the careful removal of the large yet fragile sculpture, transportation to a well-equipped studio, and the full conservation treatment by the Venus Bronze Works team. Once completed, the sculpture will be returned to its location, but with its original luster, and continue to inspire not only SVSU students, faculty, and staff, but all of us lifelong learners seeking knowledge. Thank you so much for considering a contribution to the conservation treatment of youth in the hands of God seeking knowledge.